Hi folks, County Line Gardener with you. Gonna haven't made a video in a little while. Uh, we did some more harvesting. Going around the front of the house here. Uh, my wife and me got up early. We went up to the garden. What's left of it. And we picked the green beans, the fall green beans. I'll show you more later. This is a this is a grape, grape tomato plant. It's the only tomato plant we got left. They're just outstanding little tomatoes. Uh, you can keep them from cracking. I've had trouble keeping them from cracking before, but they're not doing too bad today or this this year. But anyway, here's our raised beds you've all seen, and here. cucumbers they're going crazy I just I had onions if you'll recall in some of the earlier videos in these raised beds and uh, well I picked them and it uh, still had a lot of onions to go or a lot of uh, summer to go so I picked I planted the uh, cucumbers in there There's strawberries they're doing okay but they're they're done for the year and so are the blackberries they're finally done I just want to run up here to the garden real fast and show you what we did here. This is the blackberry patch. There's six 100 foot rows here. And man, I'll tell you, my wife has picked, I don't know how many pounds, 100 pounds maybe? Probably, Probably 100 pounds of blackberries off of two rows. It's unbelievable. But anyway, we're making, we've got 60 or 70 jars of blackberry jelly that's just oh it's just outstanding but here's what I wanted to show you real quick this was our green beans four rows of them I had picked two green beans uh, rows earlier and then I wanted to pick these these were put out about a month later these were called strike uh, the others were called jade jade is our favorite but the strike I bought five pounds of seed, didn't realize how many, how many seeds that was, and uh, I'll be using them for the next, how oh, for the next couple of years probably, but I wanted to show you, you see here now, we, we got all the, the green beans out this morning, and uh, th what you see there here now is kind of a funny story, it's, uh, those are purple hall peas. And like I told you in the earlier videos, it took us four plantings, four times before we finally got the green beans to grow. And each time I would till up the soil. The last time I tilled up the soil and planted the green beans, I must have tilled up the uh, purple hole peas that I had tried and they failed. But they didn't. They ended up coming up. And they're crazy. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Uh, just about done. This was the uh, tomatoes. They're all gone, of course. Uh, you can see how big that garden is. It's a big one. It's 350 by 120, I think. Here, here's funny. This is funny right here. This is where the cucumbers were this year. And as you can see, I tilled them up. After I mowed them down, I tilled them up. And they're coming right back. They're just crazy. It's a... <laughs> They're, they're, they'll grow anywhere. Okay, let's go on up here. Uh, my wife finally got her corn. Her, uh, got her, let's see, Indian corn. Turned out real good. Turned out real well. It was right in here. And we got, we got some, oh, we got some sweet corn out of there. Believe it or not, we had sweet corn. Yeah. And still, it's, there's more of it growing there. But anyway, there's where the potatoes were. They were worthless. Yeah, you recall that. Here's something I think we're going to like. Look at these watermelons. I hope you can see, see this. The sun's shining real bright here, and I'm not going to complain about that. There's a rotten one. But uh, they're not real big. They're not real big, but they're, they're growing. That's... <laughs> After what we went through this summer, uh, I, I'm, I'm glad to get anything to grow. My goodness, they're everywhere. 
they are everywhere. Those are good watermelons right there too. I'll show you one we picked. We picked one today. There's a cantaloupe. That whole row down through there is cantaloupe. Once they start sprouting and growing out into the into the aisle, then I can't I can't uh, I can't rototill anymore. So we we'll just let them go in the weeds. And there's some more. That's that damn dark gr green one. Dark green ones there. They're just about all ready to pick. There's the uh, gourds. No, this was uh, zucchini. Zucchini. We got a zucchini. I'll show you when we get back up there. These last two rows. I just, I failed miserably on the pumpkins. Something we like to grow. We grew nice pumpkins last year. I mean, nice ones. We just, I tried to save some money this year by using last year's seeds. Now, I'm not doing that no more. I will not do it no more. There's the gourds. You can see, and there's one there. It's supposed to look like a, a swan sitting down. I don't know what that thing here is. Great big long thing. Uh, we got some birdhouse gourds. There's some birdhouse gourds. That's going to be cool. Uh, there's a uh, cantaloupe there, Mrs. Miller. There. And here's some more gourds. They're just everywhere. There's a nice big one there. But anyway, we uh, we got blackberries back there behind us. Uh, they're all done. There's some more watermelons. But uh, let's get up on the back porch, <sighs> and I'll show you show you how, what we did today. We're uh, we've got so many jars of our jade green beans that we picked earlier, two bushels of them. That we canned all them, every single one of them. We picked them, and now the way we picked our green beans is different from some people. We picked a whole plant. When we know they're not blooming anymore, we picked a whole plant right straight up out of the ground. Take it to the porch, sit down, take it easy, and and strip the beans off there. It's it's simple. It's a simple way of doing it. And then take take the, the bushes after after you get all the beans out, throw them away too. We'll go back through the through the second and third row here of blackberries. I think they're about done. We got to get down here and trim this. This is this is out of getting out of hand here. We want about 12 feet between them. This is our U-pick berries. Next year, people are going to come in and pick them. My wife gets down here about every night right now and picks what 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 she can. But I think they're about done. They're just about done. There's a black one there. There's a big black one there. I may I may have to test that one. But uh oh my. <laughs> well that's good, that's good. Okay. Let's go on up here to the back. My goodness, that blackberry was good. But they're about done. They're about done for the year. Okay. Don't want this one to run very long, this video. Okay. Now, kind of hard to see in this sunlight through this viewfinder. But we're up here on the back porch. It's where we spend a lot of time. Okay. Now, here's what we got. Here's what we got out of the, them two, uh, well, I'm going to call them 85-foot rows of green beans this morning. There's two bushels there. There's two bushels there. And, uh, whoa, look at that. There's a pretty little watermelon. About the right size for us. And, uh, oh my, here's the zucchini. Three of them there. She just laid down. I have no idea what you do with zucchini. <laughs> If anybody knows, you make bread. let me know. Make bread, huh? Well, well okay. Uh, here's them, uh, oh, that, them, them cucumbers that I just, well, I had the seeds left over from the relish I made, you know. Uh, man, them come out. Them are the nicest batch of cucumbers. And I've noticed something, folks, about the fall gardening. That's what this is. 
there's no weeds and no bugs there's not a bug on any of this stuff and it hasn't been the plants were healthy and no no weeds there's a few weeds in the watermelons of course they were planted in July but uh, we're about to, we're gonna we're gonna dive into this watermelon after a while and now the green beans like I said we have enough in the house in our pantry to last us all year so these these uh, two bushel here are going to uh, a food pantry in our little town up north of here uh, there's three churches up there and they give food away to needy people and uh, we uh, we do our part we give them the, these green beans uh, they can break them I'm not going to break them for them but they can they can uh, give away these green beans and uh, in the spring we give away tomato plants and in the summer we give them tomatoes and potatoes and corn and uh, we didn't have a very good corn crop at all this year it was awful and the corn didn't get four foot tall but we ended up with 35 or 40 real nice yellow sweet corn ears out of it real nice no worms so this uh, about all I wanted to, to show you today this may be about the last gardening video you see for the year uh, I don't, can't think of anything else to show you because I'm getting ready to go up there and mow down the rest of them purple hall peas I, I just I don't have no use for them we've already canned all we can we did okay on beans and things like that but my tomatoes potatoes oh what the corn was awful it was it just didn't grow it's been an awful year but you know you have bad years when you garden now I'm not going to be too depressed about it anymore up till now here's a, my wife's Indian corn you can see it it's real pretty some of them some of them ears are dark blue some of them are dark red some of them are, are multicolored Indian corn it's a lot of fun it's a lot of fun to grow well folks that's all I got to say for now I've jabbered on long enough so uh until the next time, this is the County Line Gardener saying bye-bye.